All right, welcome to the 2023 NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championship. Following our first semifinal, we are joined by Duke head coach John Danowski, Garrett Ledman, and Jake Naso. Coach, we're going to ask you to make an opening statement and then we'll go to questions for the student athletes. As a reminder to our reporters, if you can just raise your hand if you have a question, we'll get a microphone to you and please say your name and your affiliation with the first question. First, I want to congratulate uh, Penn State, uh, their, their players, uh, Coach Tim Brony, Coach Hollis, the staff. Uh, they, were, they were just terrific. Uh, they, they were. You know, I can't imagine uh, the hurt that they're feeling right now. Um, you know, relative to our exhilaration, uh, I really respect Coach and what he does, and they were just terrific today. Um, with that being said, um, while you know you look at the game from both both ways, both sides, I don't know if it was our best uh, game defensively, or that Penn State just played lights out. So I'd have to watch the film to see that. Uh, offensively, we did enough. Um, I thought we left a couple of uh, opportunities, you know, uh, on the field, but we did enough uh, to be successful. Uh, and I'm very proud of this group, uh, you know, for the uh, playing a very uh, difficult atmosphere, very pro Penn State, and, um, and for figuring it out at the end. Questions for the student athletes? Aaron Patrick Stevens from Lacrosse Magazine. Uh, close call there, right? Did, did you have a sense of where you were relative to the crease on that play, and, and just kind of go through what you were seeing on that? Obviously, the inner regulation. Yeah, I mean it's something that we practice every day. Uh, even the midfielders behind the cage, just getting up to five and five, uh, sitting there, you know, absorbing that contact. And I knew that if I was able to just uh, get a, like good, a good change direction, I'd be able to go underneath, just put my foot in the ground, and just. When did you feel that you could go? I mean, you know, there, there's got to be something there that led you to say it, it's kind of like yeah. Um, well, I had the ball at the top of the key, and then I dodged through the switch, and then I knew I had a short stick on me. Um, I feel like in those moments, teams are slow to go uh, as far as bring another guy to the ball, so I knew that that was probably going to be the case. Um, and that's, that's when I knew that I could 